Hey guys, Butler Bulldog Bill, and we're going to try this again. Um, I actually filmed a clip, uh, a video for from yesterday after the Butler and LaSalle game, and I was going to put it up uh, early this morning, and right before I went off to work, and unfortunately it said that the file was lost and I couldn't, I didn't have time to make another video real quick before the St. Louis game I had to leave. Um, so we're going to try this again. Um, I'll go ahead and do the video for the LaSalle game, and then I'll do the one for the St. Louis game. So obviously if I'm saying that there was a St. Louis game, obviously Butler defeated LaSalle. And uh, the final score in that one was 69-58. to Butler played great in this game, and you could tell that they really wanted to win this game, get revenge on LaSalle. If you recall, LaSalle was the game Butler played after Butler defeated Gonzaga, the big upset. Butler went into LaSalle and lost on a, it was pretty close to a buzzer beater. There was only like a few tenths left after the shot went down. And uh, LaSalle played great. They've got four guard lineup, and they were just too quick for Butler. And Butler was without Rodney Clark, if you recall. He was out with a sprained neck. So Butler lost that game by one point. So they go and they play in the uh, Atlantic 10 tournament. LaSalle was the four seed. Butler was the five seed. And um, Butler played really well. They attacked. They were aggressive. Um, they didn't make any, you know, they weren't stupid with the ball. They didn't make a whole lot of mistakes. They did have 14 turnovers, but not as bad. Not the same type of mistakes that you normally see. The other team actually had to work for it. It wasn't Butler giving them away. Um, Butler was executing. They were finishing their shots. They weren't missing bunnies, all that stuff. It was just a great game, and I was real proud of the team. Glad we got that revenge game. Um, Roosevelt Jones had 10 points on 5 of 8 shooting. Kyle Marshall had 13 points on 6 of 7 shooting. Andrew Smith had 11 points on 3 of 9 shooting. He was 0 of 1 behind the 3-point line. Uh, Kellen Dunham had 9 points on 3 of 9 shooting. He was 1 of 4 behind the 3-point line. He didn't get going um, until the second half, I, I believe. He's, he's kind of struggling here lately, shooting the ball. Rodney Clark had 14 points on 6 of 16 shooting. He was 2 of 9 behind the 3-point line. And uh, Eric Fromm had 2 points on 1 of 2 shooting. And then Cameron Woods had 10 points on 4 of 5 shooting. He's going on a tear here lately. He's doing a great job. Uh, let's see here. Uh, team stats. Butler shot 49.1% from the field. LaSalle shot 40%. Butler shot 20% behind the three-point line. LaSalle shot 30.4% from behind the three-point line. Free throw percentage, Butler 100%. They were 10 of 10. It was great. LaSalle was 64.7% at the free throw line. Rebounds, Butler had 41. LaSalle had 23. Dominated them there. Had so many second chance opportunities. Um, Butler had 12 offensive rebounds to LaSalle's 6. And turnovers, Butler had 14. LaSalle had 11. Uh, Butler went on to a 26 and 7 record following this game. LaSalle fell to 21 and 9. And uh, so then Butler moved on to the semifinals, which is today against St. Louis, and you'll have to look at the next video to see how that went.